Okay. I, hi, it's Marley. Uh, not, not that you care because really what you're going to care about very much is this article that uh, my friend just texted me while I was on my workout, which is why I look like this. Yes, I work out in makeup because one never knows. Prince Charming is right around the corner. Uh, okay, seven slang terms about romance or lack thereof you should know before going on a date. I was like, okay, whatever. You know, we always share this kind of stuff. And um, so it's this very, like, clever little article. You can probably see it here on my phone. And I feel I must do a video about this, okay? So, therefore, I'm doing a video about this. Okay, so it talks about how the dating landscape keeps changing and our language does with it. Words that you thought were innocent references to baseball, which I would never get, so I'd evidently never be on a date, or Hansel and Gretel, for real, now have other meanings among the youths. Okay, clearly I am not young. However, I might look kind of young if you saw my other video on youhavegreatskin.com. But, um, okay, you'll all need the help you can get to understand what's going on. Here are seven must-know terms that'll make the internet much more readable, or basically translation your life. They'll help you ascertain whether one of them is happening to you right at this moment. This, I think, is the greatest article of my lifetime. Okay, so some of you may have heard of ghosting. I, by the way, I've experienced all of these and I have a couple I want to add. Ghosting is the most important term for anyone on the dating market to know right now. Sadly, quote, to ghost isn't to have a real sexy time, blah, blah, blah. Like the movie, it means to ignore people. To ghost is to an end a relationship. And sometimes, and by the way, this has happened to me also, you haven't even started the relationship. You haven't even met them. It's all great. You set the date and then they're like, they disappear. It's like, I understand once you've met me, if we disappear, we haven't even met in per, like, I don't know, maybe they were Googling videos like this, but to ghost is to end a relationship with somebody just by ending communication full stop. <clears throat> Millennials or 40 year olds or 50 year olds don't like confrontation unless it's with strangers on Twitter. So they usually just fade away. Okay. Example, my dad just totally ghosted our family after he went out for cigarettes. He never came back and didn't pick up any of our calls for years. Or John Doe ghosted me after having a little chat and then, yeah, what you get it. Okay, benching. This is a good one. Like getting to third base. This is a sports metaphor. Okay, so I'm with you so far, but it's not like getting to third base, like, you know, touching the boobs or whatever. Sorry, Mom. It's, um, it's just that you're not that into somebody, but you aren't ready to cut it all off in case... You change your mind and are really bored one night. Okay, I must have so many people that I have been benched by. I should have my own team. Unlike ghosting, it's hard to tell when you're, quote, on the bench. We recommend making a spreadsheet. Now, that resonates with me tremendously. Making a spreadsheet that tracks the frequency of communication and maps out the intervals in order to calculate what's the casual relationship or which a, what's a benched one. Okay, ready? Here's my spreadsheet. Hear from them. Three months later, you hear from them again. Nothing. Desert. You hear from them. You hear from them. You hear from them. You hear from them. You think they're going to propose. You hear nothing. They're back. Okay, so <laughs> example, I haven't heard from him in a month and he just texted you up. I think that means you on the bench. Okay, breadcrumbing. I will tell you, I've actually done this. It usually happens when I'm buzzed after a night at the Royal Chop House, but what can I say? Breadcrumbing is the hot new way to psychologically torture somebody who might be interested in you. Okay, this is called karma. Once called leading someone on to breadcrumb is to send brief, flirtatious, non-committal messages, aka breadcrumbs, to either lure in a potential potential partner or keep those that hope alive without putting in too much entra, effort. Really, I can't talk, which is maybe why I don't have a date. It's a trail to nowhere because breadcrumbers can assure that any flirtatious messaging doesn't amount to a real date. And by the way, I have to show you this. They have this like, these like, can you see these? They're like gifts of these geese. Like, and then it turns red and they're like breadcrumbing. And I had ducks as a child, so maybe that's why I'm good at that. Now cushioning, okay. I love this one. 